I want you to stealthily not to be seen by your neighbor, write down a, uh, a lipid lowering drug all right, on the card stealthily. All right. And then as quickly as you can, in a hushed voice because we don't want to be too loud, all right, turn to your neighbor and have them in five questions or less guess uh, which, uh, which uh, lipid lowering drug you have. They can ask yes, no questions. All right. Come on, it's fun. <laughs> all right. So write down a drug. All right. And then it's just like, tw we've, we've played 20 questions before. All right. Well, again, it's a down economy, so we only have five questions. All right. So five questions. Have them say, ask, yes, ask you yes or no questions and see if they can guess the, your lipid-lowering drug. Patrick uses humor uh, to keep people engaged, and I think that's really important. This subject has the potential to be rather dry yeah. if, uh, if students aren't staying engaged. And um, he does lecture, but he also incorporates class activities and just keeps people engaged and laughing. So certainly one explanation is that HDLs, they're light and fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that great? <laughs> Is she happy? Is that HDLs, they're light and fluffy. All right? All right? The, the more, a more scientific explanation is that the apo lipoproteins that are present on LDL cholesterol and the HDL cholesterol are different. Humor is a great way of engaging and approaching. Um, but humor can be distracting. Apparently, do you think his humor is distracting? Okay, so, so he's got a good use of humor to sort of take you into the topic in a way that doesn't distract you. Now, we all know the go-to drugs for lowering lipid levels. What are they? The statins are hmg CoA reductase inhibitors, drugs that are going to work in the liver to biochemically inactivate the rate-limiting step in the production of cholesterol. All right. And so when we're thinking about medications that are useful for lowering lipid levels, our statins absolutely are at the top of the list. However, these aren't always the go-to medications. What's an example of a situation when a patient would not want to receive a statin? 